Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. It is Thursday. The weekend's basically almost here. And as uh, one um, good old boy said to me, it's time to have some beer. Because, um, you know, sometimes you just got to laugh and joke and not take life too seriously. Because, um, unfortunately, like I said, growing up in the DMV area, a.k.a. uptight country, a lot of times people, I, I'm, there's nothing wrong with being serious, nothing wrong with being about your business. But a life to me, a life without laughter is just basically not a life worth living uh, whatsoever, you know, but a lot of people beg to differ on that. And that's cool. It's not the end of the world. If we agree to disagree, you know, life will go on at the end of the freaking day, you know, just keeping it real. Um, but anyways, today's word of the day, um, as I'm searching for it, because, you know, I, mean, I got to do my positive word of the day, even though the content doesn't get that much um, play or viewership, but you know, Hey, it doesn't take a lot of time out of my day. And um, I like to keep it Simple and positive. So today's word of the day is highlight stands for especially notable detail or event um, to make to make prominent, emphasize to be highlighted of. Now, back in the day before the hi highlight of the digital age. In school, you had papers where pe the teachers would highlight mistakes, highlight the good things and go from there and, and, and tell you to make corrections. You see a lot of red marking, pink markings, et cetera, and so forth. But I, I chose this word today because I believe all of us, you know, we try our best to get a lot of things done. At least um, some of us do to be um, become better people, to be, get better skill sets, to become more educated. And self-education a lot of times is the best education. Life education is the best education and standardized stuff. To me, uh, um, outside of reading, writing um, and math, a lot of times it becomes uh, irrelevant because they're just going to teach you what they want you to know. And it's a beautiful thing in a free country. You're allowed to learn what you want to know. So that's just what it is. Um, but anyways, so I, that's my, my mindset is to highlight all your accomplishments, not from a bragging perspective, but to say, hey, you, you're doing you're not here, but you're here. But you began here. So. Enjoy highlighting the steps that you're making every single day. That's why there's so many podcasts. That's why people on social media they'll they'll talk about the the broadcast that they got a new job. They broadcast that they bought the bought a new home. They got their first car or first brand new car. Um, highlight the sacrifices. Highlight the things that their kids are doing. Highlight the things that their spouses are doing. Highlight these things because you know what we were all like I said. I'm going to a funeral this weekend, and you never know when your time is going to be up. So highlight your accomplishments more, laugh more, smile more, enjoy life more. All right. So a quote from the day from a person who's very talented, from a um, and very intelligent from a personality perspective. He's always got on my nerves, but I'm not going to ever like I said. This is another great example of me agreeing to disagree with an individual on certain things. I agree with certain things I don't agree with and whatnot. Because at the end of the day, this gentleman, Kanye West, is going to make his moves. Um, you know, he's going to make his moves regardless of the situation. That's why I made a video about I'm not going to feel sorry for a billionaire celebrity. It's just not going to happen. I don't care about what you're going through with your family. It's like uh, if I was in your situation, uh, I would have never, one, got married to the ex-wife. not going to mention any names. And two... Uh, yeah, I would have got somebody better, but that's just me. You know, you make choices and you live with them. You know, you make, you make choices and you live with them. That's just life. So, but Kanye West said, I feel like I'm too busy writing history to read it. All right. Now I can understand that. Um, I like that statement, um, uh, to not to a point where a lot of times you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. One thing, but when you when you when you are goal oriented and you're a shark and you're ready to make moves in life, then you can't spend a lot all your time reading history because a lot of times you have too many people who want to be scholars of information that doesn't make that doesn't make you money. They want to be scholars of information that helps them win pointless arguments online or pointless arguments on, on media and whatnot. But it's not helping create other jobs for people in the community and help people establish capital and get access to capital and things of that nature. That's why. The ratings in most of the media, whether it's CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, are down because my generation, the 80s babies and, and, and you know, going on down are like, look, we want to listen to information that actually matters. That's actually going to have an impact on our lives. And the only time the media to me is really relevant mm -hmm. is when an actual horrific event has taken place. Now, they'll do a good job of covering that, but then they'll obviously put their spin on it and go from there to the point where it's like, OK, I've heard enough. Just give me the facts. I don't need all this other fluff and nonsense. You know, the way they're going to make it a Democrat or Republican thing. I'm like, oh, that's and this is where the nonsense comes in. But I do agree with that statement that a lot of times we shouldn't be too busy reading uh, history when we should be 
busy um, writing it and making history for ourselves and for our families and all that great stuff. So on that note, do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. I will be going live today uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time talking about Tiffany Haddish, Ari Spears, and Tim Norton from Sweetie Pies. And I'm not going to say anything degrading about Sweetie Pies. But, um, the brand was awesome. The mother who created the brand was awesome. So I got nothing bad to say about her. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. So... And if you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, sign up with Weeble stash, acornscrypto.com. With all these platforms, you'll be able to make some money. We will specifically be able to get up to 12 free stocks and go from there. And on that, and don't forget to check out my online store. All these links are in the description. But I always just ask you to do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. So on that note, family, as the shirt says, make money moves or you're going to live bro like a fool. Take care.